What's up everyone? We're here at Caroline Bully Farms and uh, it's time to bring Gypsy in to get her ready to have her puppies. So we figured we'd uh, let y'all see how we do it. Come I'm not on, completely Gip. sure if we filmed Gip. this before or not. Come on, Gip. We did it for many money, but I don't know. But uh, I figured we'd let everyone see, just uh, see how big she's gotten and let y'all check her out and see kind of what you need to do to get them ready to have puppies. Come on, girl. Let's go back and see how big Come she on, is. Baby. She's very timid at all. Come here, girl. Look at you. Come on, girl. Yeah, she's big. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take her back here, let her get kind of comfortable, and uh, bathe her, and uh, get her cleaned up and ready to have the puppies. You don't want to um, just kind of throw them back there. The right when they start labor, you want them to get used to the area they're gonna be in. Come on, baby. And then also, come here, girl. Go in. You remember it? Come Good. On. You want to also let them get used to the area they're gonna be in and get them cleaned up, so that way when the puppies are nursing. They're not getting whatever dirtiness they've got on the underside of their body in their mouth. So any kind of well, bacteria you're supposed to get all like the that. Um, parasites or any worms. I mean, not worms, but anything they can get by sucking the teeth. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, parents yeah. are immune to it, but a little puppy can catch anything really easy. So you want to get those cleaned off down there. And uh, also, just you can see how nervous she is being in the house for the first time in a while. So I'm gonna go get her shampoo. It's uh, it's good to let them kind of adjust to the area and get comfortable before they have pups here. Another reason. You, you want to watch them is because a lot of people don't realize a lot of these dogs need c-sections and they think oh well you know it'll be okay or whatever but this way when they're right here it's a lot easier to monitor their temperature make sure that you got to track them where it is normally a few days ahead of time so you know when it starts to drop you know how they're going to be acting so you know that they're uh when they're starting to nest and starting to get ready to have them and how, <clears throat> that way you know as soon as they go in labor how long you've got before you need to be looking at going and getting the c-section which for those of y'all that don't know, once labor started and she's having contractions, you know, if a puppy hasn't come out in about 45 minutes, then it's time to go and uh, get a C-section. And that's the same as if she's had three puppies or four puppies or one puppy, and uh, she goes more than 45 minutes without having one, you need to start making plans to get a C-section. Because it's really easy to lose one if one gets stuck. And if you lose one, you're risking losing all of them. Uh, so it's, it's you know a big deal to make sure you're not gonna be afraid to go ahead and sign them up to get a c-section and keep from losing the litter and keep from you know endangering her also so mom's gonna get the extension and all hooked up to the shower so that we can bathe her and get her cleaned up for the puppies we get a nice bed in here yeah, and we'll set them up after we bathe them we'll get rid of the bath towel thing there and get her a little nest made in here you're comfortable we, we don't bring the uh kitty pool in until the puppies are actually here so they don't have to be hopping in and out of it and a heat lamp and yeah and we'll hook a heat lamp up and all for the puppies then but right now it's all about her being comfortable until the little babies are born yeah but we're gonna make them so oh how do you cut it off up top uh, you just twist that little thing up, the, yeah. no, the side thing. Well, you can do it with that, too. <laughs> yeah, so you getting calmed down? You ready? Little drool going on? Come big girl, on, hopefully you got a bunch of them in there, huh? You uncomfortable with your big the belly? Girl. Oh, pretty girl. You know, Gypsy's usually so high strung and after running around everywhere, you can you tell she's you not really feeling like herself. I'm gonna sneak back down to the kennels so this isn't for you. Come on, sweet girl. Let's go, baby girl. It's gonna be all right. Then you can get relaxed. Yeah, you're gonna get you a little bone to chew on. Oh, no. She is huge. She big girl. Oh, Lord. Calm down, Jess. I know it seems traumatic on them, but it's good to have, the, have them cleaned up, and that's why you want to do this a few days ahead of time so that they can calm like down. Like a week. Yeah, about a week ahead of time. A week before the first due date. Yeah. That's why it's important also to keep up with all the due dates. You know, don't just go by the middle one or a general one because they can go in, you know, they could have took on any one of the breedings, and also they can go in early. They can go in anywhere from 55 to 70 days. The 63 days is the general area, but... It can happen early. We've had, them, really. we've had them like uh, Sweetie waited till day 70. Remember that? Yeah, yeah when Sweetie when sweet we was she born, she no wasn't way. born until day 70. And then we've had, I think, Pebbles Luger come out at day 55. Yeah. yeah. 58 or 55. We barely had her. Yeah, like there's yeah. Like little rats, little bald rats. You need a wild rat, but hers is big, baby. Yeah, Gypsy's going to be some big old huge country babies. Country babies. Which is like probably why I'm sure she'll have a C section. Yeah. Yeah, 
your undercarriage really good, girl. Get the undercarriage. Mm -hmm. Try to snap a little part. Yeah, it's part now. And this stuff lather's really good. You're getting a lot more. She's nasty. She's a big girl. She's gonna get an aerial view of Gypsy here. She's gonna take. She's plopped down on the ground. You okay. sometimes I'll try and fight at some, but just she might be enjoying that. She's starting to get her hang up. She gets, she knows what's getting ready to happen. She's been through this before. Look at her peeping out at Cody. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, big mama. Yeah, mama, you pay for it. We can get you good clean girl. She ever move her little foot in, pop it in, until I touch it. We need to get that big old body. Oh, oh, Nasty old tail gypsy, and it's hard, especially when it's one like gypsy that is. Absolutely, so, just a filthy dog. I mean, she her. Likes to she likes really to just muddy. jump all around in her poop and her mud and everything. And she her little mean daughter is the same way. Cookie, Cookie is. is a nasty little thing, isn't she? Yeah, yeah they're right. just alike. She just big old girl. You like to get out and get nasty dirty, don't you, little tomboy? Huh? That is a knotted up nasty tail. Oh, she likes getting good. her little tail rubbed. It feel good. You still want to get The out. main thing you want to do, I mean, you want to clean up everywhere, but you also want to make sure you get the the, the undercarriage yeah. getting in between the little boobs and mm. around the nipples and yeah. all, so that you well, get all that built-in crust that they're going to suck off of there. Oh, girl, you're so strong. You are so strong. I know, baby. Reach under there and get it. Yeah. What we do is we have to lift up our little front end. Oh, so got no soap in you little pretty eyes. That's why it's all it's good if you have one of these here, so that thing can kind of you can oh, turn yeah, the water off and on. You can use that to squirt their belly and, and get up under there because you don't want to leave any soap on there. Bullies, especially blue bullies, have really really sensitive skin, so when you bathe them, you gotta make sure you get all the soap off. And if y'all are wondering what we're using to bathe them, we're using this here. It's just a uh, it's just a dog shampoo. Yeah, just like a dog general sensitive skin shampoo. Yeah, everything you get for them, as far as that goes, needs to be for sensitive skin. Even if you don't think it's got it, it does. And then once we get her dry, nice and clean and stuff, we'll take her temperature after she calms down in a couple of hours. And get kind of a baseline. You want to get a general temperature. You want to take it at the same time. If you take it after they've been running around outside in the heat, it could be higher. If it's freezing like it is right now, it could be lower. So you want to let them be in the house for a couple hours before you take their temperature each time. And that way, when it starts to drop, uh, you'll know it's time for them to start labor. Usually, bully's temperature is around 102, or any dog's temperature is around 102.8, I think is average. And uh, it, really, they're not getting close to labor until it gets around, it usually drops below 99, like low 99s to high 98s, and that's when they're starting labor. But once it starts to drop, it usually goes all the way. So if it's usually 102 and you see it's 100, then you know it's heading in that direction. That's right. We know, don't we, girl? The phone's about to die here, so we all get the general idea. We're gonna start rinsing her. What we're gonna do underneath. Ooh, she oh, like she does not like the water. No, girl. Okay, girl. Okay. You're good, Jesse. Calm down. Okay, baby. It's okay. Girl. I wouldn't hurt you, girl. I wouldn't hurt you. Hurt so we're gonna, you, gonna rinse off and then get her little undercarriage. We'll kind of work it. We'll show you after the... it's done how she looks. Yeah. That she's calm and yeah. she's gonna be relaxed and get her spa treatment and be all nice and clean. We'll do a part two on this one. So yeah. I'm going to cut it off here and put the phone on the charger for a minute. And when she's out and cleaned up, we'll start back up. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. God bless. God bless.